Hi, you guys. So we're going to be talking about historical context quite a bit um, throughout the semester. So I wanted to take a minute to briefly discuss with y'all about historical context. So I have opened up the PowerPoint that is in Schoology, and I'm going to go through it with you guys. Okay. So let's shift it a little bit. There we go. All right. So in class, um, in your discussion online, I had you guys take a look at the picture of this guy right here. Um, and I had you to make some observations. And in class, we did this as well. And I had them jot down some things that they noticed about this person. as, And then we discussed it. So um, I'll tell you my observations. So the first thing I noticed is that he's an older gentleman. So he's probably in his 50s. Um, and he has on a very nice suit. It looks to be a three-piece suit with a very nice tie. Um, right here, you can see he's got a very nice tie. Um, he has on nice leather shoes. Um, above his hand right here, there is a um, watch chain and it looks to be gold. Um, not many people had a gold pocket watch that they would, you know, tote around with them. Um, they might have had a knockoff, but um, the common person might have, but most people, if they had a gold pocket watch, had some money. So that means that tells me between his watch, his shoes, and his um, his glasses, his glasses look very nice, and his suit. I can tell that he um, has some money. Um, he is kind of sitting in a very regal pose with his arms, you know, very nicely put, his legs crossed. He is, um, is it looks like he's taking a break um, from the discussion that is taking place behind him. And the discussion looks to be very, you know, they, they don't look to be heated, but it's definitely, there is a discussion going on. In class, um, some people said that he looks unbothered um, by the discussion going on around him, and he looks a little bit arrogant, and I would agree with their, um, with their assessment. So, context is important. Um, Google defines context as the circumstances that form a setting for an event. Um, they can help us understand um, what is going on. And that's definitely important with a picture like this. Um, I would say that this picture happened, is happening, um, in the early 1900s, which is very important as well. Um, the University of Minnesota talks about historical context, um, and it's something that we are going to be doing a lot of in, in class. Um, and it is important because you need to pay attention to a lot of different things. Who actually made this source? I mean, this is a little bit more difficult for us because we're looking at a picture. But if we're looking at a written text, you know, how did that person make it? Did they write it out? Did they um, send it to a printing press? These things are important. What time period did they live in? What's going on during that time period? And how might that have influenced the production of our source? One of the things that we talked about in class um, was the differences between the 1800s and, and our time period. The 1800s are different from us. Um, one of the, a good example that people mentioned was technology. Um, you know, we have these awesome things called cell phones. I'm actually making my video on my cell phone, right? They didn't have cell phones in the 1800s. They didn't have the internet. They didn't have Wi-Fi. Um, the Industrial Revolution is going on, um, but people communicated by writing letters during this time period. It wasn't until the late 1800s that they had a telephone, and it was a landline where you had to be hooked up to a wire. We didn't have a wireless phone like we do now. That's something that they didn't have that we have today, right? So that's important for us in, in understanding how we view the world. But something else that was mentioned was slavery. Um, something that was very much common for a lot of people prior to the American Civil War would be slavery. And while we know that to be wrong, 
because it's wrong to own another person. And in our world, the slavery that we um, that we know of then, we don't have now, right? And it's important to understand that for a lot of people during this time period, particularly in the American South, slavery was very much a part of their lives. And whether it's right or not, it's important to understand and keep that thought in your minds because the way that they view the world is different than the way that we view the world, right? Because they viewed a class of people as being slaves, right? So it's important to understand context because if you look at the last sentence right here, meanings change over time. The way that we understand things changes over time. And as we were talking about earlier, you know, things in the 1800s, are different than they are now. So it's important for us to understand that, you know, that things change over time and that context changes. And for us to understand sources, we need to look at context, right? Um, we really, um, who produced the source? What is the genre of the source? These are some things that you need to think about while we're looking at sources and while we're contextualizing. Um, how might political or economic events affect how a presidential campaign poster is created, right? Those kind of things are important. How might a common belief or trend have affected the, the production of the source, right? These things are important to understand and to think about as you are looking at primary sources. So one of the things that I mentioned in, in my class with the kids was that, you know, this this man um, is Colonel William Joseph Simmons, and I told them that he is famous um, for founding the second recurrence of the Ku Klux Klan in Georgia, and he is at a a committee meeting for con Congress, um, and because they were investigating the KKK, and so he has stopped to take a picture for whoever's taking this picture, and I asked them, "Did your view of this man change?" And most everybody said yes. Their view of him changed. This is why context is important because. You know, you and I both, we thought that he was a very important person, and he is to a select group of people, but we he would be somebody that we would classify as not a good um, person in history, right? So it's important to understand context and to understand, okay, if he were writing a source, what are the things that he believes, and how might his beliefs influence that source, right? So it's important for you to understand context, and I hope that this um, has helped you as you are looking through the PowerPoint online. Let me know if you have any questions, you guys.